stable has been drying for about a month now. Um, it's been pretty warm down there. It's lost around three pounds in weight. It's not ready to go all the way, but we'll take it down to a floor tiller today. I cut it down to about 70 inches yesterday, which is the right height if I want about a 30 inch draw, maybe 30 and a half inch. We'll see how far I can stretch it. I'm aiming for about 50 pounds. So uh, I went two inches in width and an American flat bow design. I also took off some more of the cambium layer, this darker stuff. I read a couple things online from other guys using Hackberry that you actually want to get the majority of that off. You got to be really careful not to peel any of this first layer of the late wood off. Really careful. On my other two staves, they had really thin yearly growth rings. I'm talking like just a millimeter or two, surprisingly thin. I don't know if you can see on this one, but this one has maybe about quarter inch yearly growth rings, which is makes for a lot better bow. And that's probably why I was able to get the stave scraped down to this first layer relatively easily. You can see how thick the rings are on this. About a quarter inch, pretty good.
of my bow so far that I did with the power tools. Got close, maybe quarter inch to half inch around this thing. And it's looking pretty good, I would say. It's getting kind of windy out right now, so I may continue this tomorrow and dark, so. But I'm pretty satisfied. All right, I'm gonna bring this down to a floor tiller now. And I'll get it to bend a little bit against my knee before I cure it for a couple more months and make sure it's, it's ready to be fully tillered. Here are a couple of the tools I'll be using. Got myself a nine inch draw knife, a round rasp file, a sort of dull kitchen knife, smaller one, I'll use that as a scraper, and a drywall sander. If I hit any rough spots or get any splinters or anything weird, I'll sand it out with the sandpaper there. I also have a little vise here that I picked up for really cheap from uh, Harbor Freight, I think. It was less than 20 bucks. I just screwed it to my workbench here. It works fine, at least for this size of bow, two inches and smaller. Got a piece of leather in here. Then shaving down the sides of my bow and the belly of the bow. This side I have done already and you can see I followed the grain with the draw knife.
That's the bottom limb. Here's my top limb. So, yeah. Got the basic shape of my bow out, down to a four tiller. Now I'm gonna wait 60 more days, let this thing dry out a little more, and then we'll move on to tillering. And I'm gonna toast the belly of this thing, and we'll see about finishing. I'm not sure yet, but here's a solid look of the bow from end to end. Okay. And the top here, the back. Here we go. I'm sure this will not be my uh, only self bow. You know, I'm expecting it to break. Hopefully not, but. Might as well expect the worst and got a couple more good staves and now that I've got the experience with the draw knife and the scraper and just the t general techniques of how to do this, I bet my next one will come out a lot better. So uh, see you guys in about 60 days.